Dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to tell you something. Please watch video completely and sit with copy pen. And if you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. If you find anywhere some problems or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share, and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Dear hey student, here we have to go to derive Laplace equation or Laplace Young's Laplace pressure equation. This equation is very useful to find out excess pressure inside the curvature or curve uh, liquid body. Here the equation is delta P equal to T into bracket 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Here delta P is the excess pressure, T surface tension and R1 and R2 is the radius of curvatures of given liquid body. Here we know that very well pressure, pressure equal to force upon area. But here we have to take in the small part, so therefore delta P equal to F upon delta A. Here we have to take in delta A means small part of this uh, liquid body. Here force equal to delta P into delta A. Here what is delta A? Here delta A is a, you can consider along with DB, a, AB, uh, AB is DS1. And uh, along with CD, that is the curvature is ds2 okay so length into width means ds1 ds2 so it is the first equation we have considered first equation now we have to take a <coughs> ab curvature this is <coughs> ab curvature and uh, length of arc is ds1 and the center of this curvature is considered o1 and the angle is formed d theta1 when we have to draw an angle bisector, then it becomes d theta 1 by 2. Okay. <clears throat> As you see that here the tangential force means surface tension acting towards the surface P and d s2. Why we have taken d s2? Because you can see that for this curvature, whole pressure is acting towards to the this side. Okay inside to the curvature so what is d it is the ds2 so therefore this total pressure ds2 is acting towards to the tangent clear and so therefore we have to divide into components first component pds2 cos and what is the angle you can see that d theta 1 by 2 so therefore d theta 1 by 2 and same things here tds tds2 sin d theta 1 by 2 and so same process to the other side this is also divided into components t d s 2 cos d theta 1 by 2 and t d s 2 cos d theta 1 by 2 sorry sine you can see that here this component horizontal component cancel out each other then net force is acting towards to this so therefore 2t ds2 sin d theta 1 by 2 total this t ds2 sin theta d theta 1 by 2 is end up here and now it becomes this as we know that this angle at this curvature is very small so therefore sin theta when sin theta is very small then it can be written as theta so therefore 2t ds2 it can be written as d theta 1 by 2 2 to cancel out t ds2 what is d theta you know that very well angle equal to arc upon radius what is arc here the arc is ds1 and radius is r1 so this is for the first curvature and same things we have to apply for the second curvature second curvature means cd curvature and consider this is O2, D theta 2 and drawn angle bisector it becomes D theta 2 by 2 and same things all these things same so D T D S 2 D S 1 and R2 now net forces is equal to T D S 2 D S 1 R1 plus T D S 2 
डी एस वन अपॉन आर वन सो हिस टोटल फोर्स इज इक्वल टू दिस फोर्स एफ इक्वल टू वॉट इज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन एंड दिस इक्वेशन इक्वेशन नंबर सेकेंड नाउ डेल्टा पी इन टू डी एस टू डी एस वन इक्वल टू टी हियर डी एस टू एंड डी एस वन गेट कॉमन वन बाय आर वन प्लस वन बाय आर टू एंड डी एस वन डी एस टू कैंसल आउट डेल्टा पी इक्वल टू टी इन टू वन बाय आर वन प्लस वन बाय आर टू दिस इज लाप्लास इक्वेशन और यंग लाप्लास प्रेशर इक्वेशन i hope so this equation is very useful and uh, this is a uh, very important the view of j advance thank you for staying till the end of the video and i remind you those who have not subscribed yet do it immediately by pressing bell icon thank you take care bye bye